Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving the first question from thermodynamics and the first chapter. And in this one, we have a gas that is contained in a vertical frictionless piston cylinder device. We know that the piston has a mass of 3.2 kilogram and a cross-sectional area of 35 centimeters squared. So we have the mass of the cylinder. We also have the area and we have a compressed spring above the piston that exerts a force of 150 newtons and the atmospheric pressure is 95 kPa or kilopascal and we need to determine the pressure inside the cylinder. So we're going to have some sort of gas that is purple in this device. So as always, we're going to start with the free body diagram of the piston since we are in equilibrium. So we're going to have the free body diagram of the piston right here. And now we have to figure out the different forces that we have in this free body diagram. So first of all, we have the weight of this piston, which we know is 3.2 kilogram but as we covered in the previous videos in engineering mechanics and mechanics of materials we care about the force in our freeway diagram so our force in here would be the weight of this piston which would be mass times acceleration of gravity which on earth our g would be 9.81 meter per square second and we're going to use this unit for g because everything is in kilogram so the mass is 3.2 and we're going to multiply that by 9.81 this is going to give us the force in newtons so we have the force of the spring and from the question we know that the spring by itself is in compression so if we look at the spring by itself it's in compression so the force on the spring will be in this direction which is going to compress the spring but what we care about is the force from the spring to the piston because we are drawing the free body diagram for the piston and based on the newton's law that has to be in the opposite direction so this will be our force from the spring i'm just going to show it at fs which we have the value it's going to be 150 newtons so this is in force unit so all good so on top of this piston we have the atmospheric pressure which is 95 kilopascal so kind of the pressure on the atmosphere will be something like this on top but again that's the pressure unit what we care about is force and we know that pressure is force over the area if we just want to show our force we're going to have the pressure times the area and for the top part we can just show the of the atmosphere and we're going to have this similar story at the bottom which is the pressure that we have in the gas which is what the question is asking i'm going to show this with p gas and that's pretty much everything that we have but keep in mind that we just have to do these pressures into force unit and if we just consider this is our x and y we're going to do sum of all forces in y direction equals zero because of the equilibrium situation. We consider all of the forces are in y direction, no horizontal. So that's part of our assumption. So everything's vertical. And if that's the case, we're going to have all these forces. So we're going to have the pressure of the gas. But as I mentioned, we're going to multiply pressure by the area. So P gas times the area, which is the area that we have in the question, 35 centimeters squared. That's the only force that is upward. The rest of them are downward minus mg minus the 150 or the force in the spring minus the atmospheric pressure, which is P atmosphere. Again, we're going to multiply it by A in order to get it in Newton or in force unit. So the question is asking for the pressure of the gas, which would be basically mg plus 150 plus the atmospheric pressure times A over the area. And this should give us the final answer. But we have to, the only thing that we need to keep in mind is the units that we have for each of these. So the mass and G, we figure out we have already the mass in kilograms. So if we just multiply kilogram by meter per square second this is going to give us the newton so this is pretty easy 3.2 times 9.81 one is out the spring force is already in newton so that's all good we have the atmospheric pressure which we have that in the question 95 kilopascal so 
just gonna do 95 times 10 to the 3 uh, since it's kilopascal so this will be in pascal unit and the area we need the area in meters squared in order to get this in newtons and we have the area based on centimeter squared so 35 times 10 to the minus 2 that's going to be in meter we know one meter is 100 centimeters so 10 to the minus 1 this will be to the power of 2 which is going to be 35 times 10 to the minus 4 we're going to have the same area in the denominator and this should give us the final answer in pascal let's see what we get so we're going to have 3.2 times 9.81 plus 150 plus 95 times 35 and 10 to the 3 and 10 to the minus 4 will be 0 0.1 this is going to be that, and we're going to divide that by 35. And we just have to multiply this by 10 to the 4. So this is going to be the final answer in Pascal. If we just want to report it as kilopascal, we're going to divide this by 1000. So 146.83 kilopascal as the final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.